celebrated a milestone birthday last year. I turned 60. <laughs> really? That's all the reaction I'm going to get from you people? The least you could do was gasp out of courtesy, if nothing else. Let's try that again, shall we? Last year, I turned 60. Thank you, much better. <laughs> but I also celebrated another milestone. I call it my re-birthday. You see, last year, on November 19th, marked six years of complete recovery for me from mental depressive disorder. Here's how this went down. It was a gorgeous fall day in Frisco, Texas, a suburb of Dallas where I live with my husband, Tim. As I recall, it was unseasonably warm. The sun was shining, the birds were singing. I had the patio door open and there was a wonderful south breeze flowing through our house that was coming in off the golf course. Yet in the midst of all of this beauty, all my brain could see was darkness and hopelessness. And out of my desperation, I reached for a bottle of prescription sleeping pills, and I took them. Every one of them, 31 to be exact. And I went to sleep. Here's a piece of take-home information for you. Anytime you take 31 prescription sleeping pills, you're going to go to sleep. But back in those days, it was my only relief. It was my only reprieve from the anguish that I was in. My husband came home and found me, called the paramedics, and they got me to the hospital in time. And then the next day... My husband and I checked LaDonna into a mental health care facility. And there, I began to learn how to rebuild my life. An interesting thing happened during the admission process to the hospital. They continually asked me two questions over and over. Number one, why are you here? Uh, attempted suicide. And number two, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a motivational speaker. <laughs> and I can see it in their faces. Right, lady. And we have a very special room right this way. Just follow us down the hallway here. It's all ready for you. Well, indeed, there I did learn how to begin to put my life back together. First of all, I got the correct diagnosis. I had a mental illness known as anhedonia. And the short definition of that is this. It means emotionally incapable of experiencing joy. So I got the correct diagnosis. I got the right psychiatrist. I got the right medication. And with a whole lot of prayer... And by God's amazing grace, I stand before you here this evening, mentally healthy and whole. And folks, this is as sane as I am ever going to get. So just deal with it. <laughs> but all that to say, a huge heartfelt thank you from me to those among us who work in the mental health care hospitals like I was in, who serve the neediest among us, of whom I was one. Thank you. You've made a difference in my life. There is hope, help, and healing for mental illness. I'm living proof. Thank you.